Hey folks, this is Mr. Curtis and today we're going to be looking at line 49 titled Raise and Lower. It is titled this because you really need to watch your elbow motion. This is the first line in the book that we're doing that's marked specifically for bowing. So like we're starting to get to the part of the book where you're actually going to be bowing strings as you're reading the music. Yay, big milestone. There's a couple symbols we need to talk about here. So if you look at the very first symbol at 49, you'll see like this little bracket kind of goes like this. That is a down bow marking. So what that means is whenever you see that bracket, you're gonna start at the frog and pull down towards your legs. That's why it's called a down bow, you're pulling down. When you see that V shape, like on the second A, that is an up bow. So you start at the tip and push the bow up towards your face. Okay, down bow versus up bow. So if you look at the first measure, it goes down, up, down, up. The big part of 49 is you need to watch your elbows raise and lower. So when you get to A, your elbow is going to be a little bit lower unless you're a cello. And then when you get to D, use those rests to pick your elbow up so that way you can pivot to the D string. A little bit lower for A, a little bit higher for D. Should be child's play for you guys by now. Set your metronome to 45 and this is what it's going to sound like. And one and two. And here I go now. And use these rests, change my elbow position, now my D string. Here I go. Rest. Two, take the repeat, lower your elbow. Use the rest, bring your elbow up, check your bow hold. Here we go now. Rest, two, three, four. So make sure you take the repeat side in so that way you get an opportunity to pivot your elbow in both directions. Good luck, check your bow hold, stay in lane three. Bye-bye.